ladies and gentlemen and the viewers of the papri.com the first game between sharks and hurricanes in about to kick off uh, the winners of this game will qualify for today's final will, which will be played against uh, the knights yahan uh, the slit team will be led by yahan samarjeev and the sarasavi hurricanes will be led by chetan munasinghe jahan mubarak and jahan mubarak will be op officiating this game to introduce the viewers about the game uh, this will be played in uh, the uh, in terms of the sets the first team to score five four goals will win the set uh, they will have to have a two goal lead in case they don't have the two goal lead on the first and second quarters the team with the highest score will win the set if both teams have won a set each it will go to a deciding set where where the teams will have to have a two goal lead to win the final set and qualify for the finals This is the first ever Premier League in water polo for Sri Lanka where as teams bid for their teams and this will be played as a Premier League format. just to talk about uh, sarasavi hurricanes team uh, entry to the uh, th to the playoff match they have surprised other teams and entered uh, the third play uh, the final playoff with a very young team teams uh, led by shehan dasanayaka and shan uh, lakshita were expected to be here for the third place playoff but uh, the team led by chetan munas singh has upset all of them and been here for the third play for the for the final playoff we will have to see if they can create further upset and defeat the very very strong slit sharks and enter the finals tonight it will be a very hard task but it's always game on the game has just begun and yaya jafar from slit shark i'm sorry uh the sarasavi hurricanes win the ball the swim ball the first ever swim ball of this game purna and chandula fighting battling hard and a steal from yahan samarji where it turns around and there seems a break uh Purna Khan Kanige gets a ball. Yahya is breaking from the left wing, and Yahya Jaffer scores one for the Slit Sharks, and Slit Sharks lead one by one goal to nil. The Slit Sharks are a very very fast swimming outfit. They have really good players. Our national vice captain Yahan Samarjeeva, national player Rifa Tuways. and uh, a swimming and a water polo national yahya jaffer and a former sri lankan player purno khan khan is right now playing for slit sharks and the ball to captain chetana munas singh a wonderful goal it was nicely taken from chetana and the scores are equal at one all right now this is a newly introduced concept like how it happens in the world beach water polo games where it plays in sets so the teams are always expected to perform once again to purna purna is looking for yahan uh, yahan yahan gets a foul inside the 5 meter which means he cannot shoot and uh, once again purna asking the ball it's a lob for true refer to as a wonderful goal 
one of oh no uh, the referee calls it a two meter which means that which it is not a goal for your information a player cannot receive a, the ball inside the two meter and shoots and a goal a very long shot from chandula takes the sarasabi hurricanes to lead it was a very long shot a bound shot and it sarasabi hurricanes scores 2-1 game resumes if sarasavi hurricanes scores one more they can create a further upset here and that's a man out chetan muna singh that I'm, i'm sorry number 7 rashid aziz is a man out and the slit sharks are playing extra man and it's extra man situation yeah yeah jaffa gets a ball free player no uh, foul foul being made and another man out that's a double man out Tony Vijay Wardena goes out for throwing the ball after the foul. Purna gets the ball. He's free. He's the free man back, and they are just one. Oh no! Takes rebounders. Hurry! Sharks get another twenty seconds. They got plenty of time now to equal the score here, and that's a goal. Rafat Ways once again scores for the Sharks. The scores are now equal at two all. That's another long shot from Chandula this time not succeeding it goes out and you can see a break from Purna Khan Kanige once again he is going in and Yan Samarajeeva is to breaking that's another goal takes slits right into the lead 3-2 Purna Khan Kanige scores and now the slits lead Sharks lead 3-2 which means if Sharks scores one more the set will be decided and will be won by Sharks that's a man out yahya jafar goes out i'm sorry purna khan kanige goes out chetan muna singh gets the ball can they score yeah rashid aziz is extra man back to chetan can he score no no it bounces rebounces hits the ball and comes back no goal golden up and the sharks coach alok apreli has asked for a time out this is a strategic move which means they can go up in the attack and have a shot at the goal which if they score will decide the set for them current royal coach alok apreli is coaching the sharks led by national vice captain yan samarajeeva former royal college captain heman winning captain and the hurricanes are led by chetan muna singh a national player former royal college fifth year kalasman Sharks in the attack. Refer to ways. It's extra man situation. Oh no! It bounces again, but the ball stays with the Sharks. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a man on man situation. Oh no! It rebounds again. Yan Samarjeeva to Purna Khan can get a goal, and Slit Sharks won the first set. Wins the first set four two. Slit Sharks now have a set advantage, and they will be going into the second set, winning the first set four two. we will have to see if the hurricanes can make a comeback and win the second set if not the slit if they if again sharks win the first set the second set which uh, will decide the game for the sharks but i put it in another column so you can do another column put one so that means sharks have won the first set hurricane zero one for them and zero for the hurricanes So Hurricanes lead one zero. So like in badminton, mother, they have won a set, and you can put the scores of that on the existing column. That's the end of the first set. Slit Sharks wins the first set, four goals to two. If Slit Sharks win the second set, that will decide the game for the Sharks. Thank you.
it's also always very good to see the friendship growing in the water polo community. You can see the arch rival St. Thomas College is at the Royal Pool witnessing this final day of proceedings. St. Thomas College players, captain, coaches are here to support Royal College in their initiative. I hope schools, many schools will follow this format and bring which will improve the sport in Sri Lanka. And once again, game has resumed. Teams are battling hard. Hurricanes know they have to give everything they got to win this quarter. Miss shot. Go ball goes out shot by Purna. Ball with white. That's a man out. Basit Yakub is sent out, which means right now Hurricanes has an excellent opportunity to score. That's an extra main situation. Will Hurricanes use this opportunity to score? Chandula Freeman, a very powerful shooter himself. Can he score? Can he score? Yes, he does. Takes Hurricanes into the lead. 1-0. Chandula, one of Raw's leading players this year. And he shows why he's one of the most powerful shooters in Royal and Sri Lanka water polo team right now. Slit will be looking to score an equalizer immediately. Basit Yakub, that's a five meter shot and Primut Karnarad blocks it wonderfully. Ball back with Whites. Chetana is looking for a man to pass and that's a long shot and that's that's goalie ball the ball goes out of playing area refer to ways looking for a player that's a man out Tony Vijayawadhan is sent out. The Blues have an extra man situation. And that's a steal from Chetan Munasinga. That's a wonderful steal. And we have been just informed that number three, why Tony Vijayawadhan has been capped out for three major fouls. He will be taking no longer, he will be taking part no longer in this game. And that's another steal. That's a bad shot from Chandula. Puran is looking for a man. Okay, Basit Yakub for a five meter shot. Will he go for another shot? Rifa tries to break in and that's a goal. That's a corner. A wonderful save by Dimut Karnaratta for Hurricanes. Former Royal College goalkeeper, Heyman winning goalkeeper, Dimut Karnaratna is keeping for Hurricanes. Purno Kankanike looking for a player. Will he go for Rifa? And referred oh and and that's a and that's a man out and that's a penalty for the sharks. I'm sorry, that's not a penalty. That's an extra man. Sharks are playing extra, and that's another wonderful save from Dimut Karatna. He has been on target today, probably saving the game for. Hurricanes. That's a timeout. Captain Yahan Samrajiva comes in again. Hurricanes are leading 1 0. And also, in the second set, if Hurricanes lead end of eight playing minutes, the set will be awarded to Hurricanes. The teams are requesting from the referee if it's a penalty, where else the ref is informing that it's not a penalty and it was an extra man situation. They've taken a timeout. Play resumes from half. Can Sharks score an equalizer? Poor is looking for a man and that's a long shot and out. Once again, Dimut Karna Ratna gets the ball. There are no breaks. 
Chet, alam mo na sing, ha? That's a long shot, almost takes the goal and it has to be said, Chet, alam mo na sing, uh, and Chandula Fernando have single-handedly taken their team into the playoffs. That's another wonderful save and it has to be said if the Hurricanes makes it to the final, it has to be thanks to Dimut Karwaratna, their goalkeeper. He has saved some wonderful goals today. Dimut Karwaratna is the man to go today, saving shots after shots. Carrying, in the, carrying his team in his shoulder. Jan Samarajiva, no. That's another foul. Jan is looking for refer two ways. Will refer go for the five meter foul to Yahan Samarajiva. And that's a goal from Yahan Samarajiva. The scores are equal at one all. Demuth who saved some wonderful shots. Could be said that he let go of an easy shot. Once again, Chetana Muna Singha trying to take his team to lead. Chetana Muna Singha, that's a wonderful lob. A magnificent goal from Chetana to take Hurricanes once again into the lead. He has been playing superbly in the day and during the entire tournament taking Hurricanes right into this game and even in this game. Hurricanes lead two goals to one. We have been uh, uh, announced that there's one more minute remaining. So all Hurricane got to do is just... All they had to do was defend that one minute, but referred away scores once again for the... Sharks equalizing the scores at 2 all. That's another timeout from the Hurricanes. Scores are equal at 2 all. If the set ends in a draw, the, pe the penalty the goalies will go for a best of three penalty shootout. Hurricanes have taken a power play. Which means they can bring up the goalkeeper to attack. If they miss the shot, the play will be stopped and star will begin again from the halftime and Dimuth misses an excellent shot. That's a missed shot which means the play will be stopped again. They have wasted their power play. And it will start again from half. Purna Kankanige going in. It's a break. Wonderful play from Purna. Foul. To Rifat. Oh, another wonderful goal from Rifat Ways for Sharks, which takes them once again into the lead. 3 2. I don't think there's much time left for, the, for another Hurricane comeback. This might seal the deal for the Sharks. Will there be enough time for Hurricanes to score? No, they miss it. That's end of the quarter. Sharks march into the finals. Sharks win the game 3-2 and qualify for the finals which will be later play which will be played later today against the Knights. The next game will be the game between Dialogue and Mobital for the fourth and fifth places. Stay tuned with with Depapray.com for live and exclusive features of the Royal College Premier League, the first ever Premier League Water Polo Championship in Sri Lanka. Stay tuned. <laughs> 